Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Welcome to my studio. I've got another pedal to show you. It's actually a reverb pedal and it's made by J Rocket Audio. It's called the Boing. <laughs> the name is uh, quite uh, apropos. Um, it's got, uh, it's not such a digital sounding verb. Um, it's got some early reflections in it and it's a little bit brighter verb, which reminds me more of, uh, more of kind of an amplifier style verb. Um, I love the fact that it's just got one control knob on it. It's basically controlling uh, how much reverb uh, you're actually bringing into your uh, your guitar sound. Um, really nice uh, looking box. It's part of the Tour series, which is uh, a new series for them. Um, takes up a really small footprint. Uh, plugs in at, at the top of the box, which is great. It's another kind of uh, space saver. So yeah, let's let's get into this thing and, uh, and check it out and see what you guys think. Uh, it's the J-Rocket Audio Boing Reverb Pedal. Okay, you guys, let's, uh, let's check out this reverb pedal uh, by J-Rocket Audio called the Boing. I'm gonna use my uh, uh, LSL Satakoi Stratocaster. It's got uh, lower black face uh, pickups in it. They're flat pole, they sound fabulous. And I'm gonna use my, uh, my Soar uh, SH-100, which is not typically an amp I would uh, want to run uh, reverb to the front end of, but that's kind of the whole point is to kind of make this uh, this verb pedal do all the work as opposed to plug it into like a silky kind of fender sounding amp like the the divided by 13. Uh, I decided to be a better route uh, to go. I've got it dialed really clean. So uh, here's just the, uh, the basic sound that I've got uh, going with my uh, Strat. <laughs> Here is the reverb pedal. And where I had it set up uh, was a, kind of a mild uh, reverb. Uh, that's just kind of where I was at when I tried it out. So I kind of stayed in that mode when I did the little performance pieces. Kind of wherever I start with the pedal and I'm comfortable is where I'll kind of stay uh, within the performance uh, piece. So for me, that's it's a brighter verb, um, and I had mentioned in the the talking point that it it, it wasn't so digital. Of course, it's digital, um, but it has a certain um, I guess artifacts in it that are a little more ampy. Just those kind of early reflections that you'd hear out of like a, a spring verb are certainly there. And like I said, it's a brighter verb, which is great because it, it does cut through in a mix. Um, a lot of times I'll dial up real dark verbs and I'll love them. And then, you know, you go uh, put it within the mix of a band or a session you're on and, and you don't hear it at all. So uh, it's, it's nice that it's a little brighter. It's not overly bright. And I think it sounds really natural. Um, obviously the controls are very complicated. Uh, <laughs> it's just got one knob. So from off. And it's, uh, it's, I think it's a good length verb too, because it's a set length. As, as you back it off, it, it seems like the length isn't quite as long. Uh, uh, and obviously that's perceived because you're just turning the level down, but I guess the point is, is that that does work well. Okay, so let's try some just higher uh, verb settings. Um, we'll go ahead and just max it out. Um, you know, and it's got that kind of springy thing. So, um, God, my dad taught me this. Hopefully, I won't screw it up. <laughs> Sounds great for that. So it kind of brings me into kind of the 
the kind of surf realm, you know, like, um, works really, really well. And then obviously when you get into reverbs that are that tall, you can start trying, you know, like swell effects and things like that, and it, it, it works uh, nicely. Now the one thing to keep in mind with whenever you're using a, a, a reverb pedal is when you're going to the front end of an amp, if it's clean like this amp is, it's going to work great. Now there's going to be instances where you're going to you know, run the amp with quite a bit more gain and that's when you're going to have to back off on the, uh, the pedal a little bit. And the same thing can happen actually is if you turn on a dirt box at the front end of, the, even at the front end of the pedal, it's going to jump out at you. So for instance, I've got this uh, Archer pedal I can turn on. So with it off, it's less verb, obviously, because you're not hitting the pedal as hard. Give it more input, now there's quite a bit more verb happening. But the thing that I really dug is because of the size of that knob, you can literally just kind of with your foot just back it off a little bit if you want to. And it works great. It's just another great feature of the pedal. And then, uh, you know, while we're on the overdrive subject, it does sound really nice uh, with a mild overdrive at the input. So it works great for that. The other thing I wanted to show you is um, it's really nice with the, uh, the alien echo. Um, there's a sound that I got going on it which is actually kind of a dark, here I'll just turn the verb off so you can hear the echo. It's kind of a, uh, a dark echo. Because the reverb is, uh, the verb is pretty bright. So I thought, well, go really dark echo and, and see what kind of uh, sounds I can get going with that. So that's, uh, the sound is just the alien echo. Now, um, it's dialed dark, uh, it's got a little bit of warble on. So now I'll go ahead and roll the reverb into it.
So there you go. That's the uh, the J Rocket Audio Boeing pedal. Uh, really nice sounding reverb. Um, if you have any questions about the uh, pedal at all, obviously go to their uh, their website, and I'm sure they'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, thanks as always for checking out my uh, demo videos, and I've got more coming in the future. So uh, check back in regularly. Thanks, you guys. Take care.